Yeah, wait, what's that object you got on your... This? Yeah. He shaves me every day. Yeah, he does. That's an idol. You know that? That's a dumb idol. That's an idol. Yeah, the Bible tells you it's an idol. Cross daily means be willing to die for this. I mean, that's what it means. Mm. Not, not, not wear a cross yeah, yeah, yeah. and not worship a cross, yeah. but take up your cross daily means that you're ready to die for this. Like, God, God. Maybe he's going to go look for that person. Take the cross daily. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to turn away from your sins and stop committing wickedness. The Bible tells you in the book of Matthew that the love of many is going to... That the love of many is going to wax cold. Things are going to start getting worse and worse and no one's waking up. It's going to be too late when that time comes. And the first thing that's going to be going in your mind is, hey, let's go look for those guys. Damn, the guys that wear the curtains. Let's go look for them. The Power Rangers, let's go look for them. Man, the stuff they were talking, is, it's happening. It's true. Let me get the book of Amos 8 in 11. Because that's the famine of the word. It's coming, guys. Yeah. Famine of the word is coming. And we're out here to warn you. We're here to tell you to wake up, Jacob. That's right. Repent. Keep the commandments and the faith in Yahweh. That's all we ask. It's a beautiful thing to see us brothers and sisters out here preaching the word, showing love to you guys. Look at Amos 5 and 10. Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? No. Or is that Galatians? That's Galatians. That's Galatians, right? They had that real big about the gays. Amos That's... 5 and 10 is the hate Rebe and We're out here showing you love, trying to help you out. We have understanding because we've been through what you guys were going through. We forsook our Lord. But the water, Yahweh, Yahweh, you woke us up. That's right. And that's why we're trying to give you this word. This word that's a lamp and a light. This word that can cover you. This word that spirit that is life, that can convert you. If you have faith. Let me get the book of Psalm. What are you on now? Yeah, let me get Amos 8 and 11 after that. Let me get on Psalms 1 and 1. The book of Psalm, uh, Amos 8 and verse 11. Behold the days come, saith the Lord God. That I will Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. A famine of the word of the Lord and a famine of bread, they're both coming. But that famine of the word of the Lord is going to come and read. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. You're going to be running to and fro, seeking the word of the Lord. Hey, where's that fat kid with the curtain on? Shower par. Where's his buddies? Guys wear the curtains. 
preaching that so-called word of God. <laughs> Where are they? Man, I'm starting to think, man, those guys are saying the truth. Because that's all we speak, speak, is true. The word of God is true. That's right, not lying. God's not a, not man that he should lie. You know what I mean? Man's going to lie to you and deceive you, but the Most High's not. That's right. That's right. He will never forsake you when you're serving him. That's right. The Bible tells you that you'll be blessed when you're serving him. Let me get the book of Psalms 1 and 1. When you're serving the Lord, blessings come to you. Yeah, we get chastised. But that's him to make us stronger. Just like gold is tried in the fire, he's trying us. So we'll go through some little bumps and bruises here and there. That's right. Doesn't give you an excuse to forsake him. That's right. He's not going to forsake you. He's always going to be there following you, guiding you, making sure you're all right. But he will try you to see what your faith is like. Let me get that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 1 and verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. That's right. Blessed is the man. The Most High is not going to forsake you, Jacob. All he wants you is to turn away from your sins. That's right. He wants you to have faith in his only begotten son. He wants you to stop committing foolery and start serving him like the true child you should be. That's right. He don't want you to live for this world and the rudiments of this world he wants you to serve him true to heart but it's going to be hard the book of um second address eight and one yes it is brother yes it is that's why you're supposed to repent. If not, you're going to likewise perish. That's right. Second, second Esdras 8 and 1. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Yeah, wait, what's that object you got on your... This? Yeah. He saves me every day. Yeah, he does. That's an idol. You know that? That's an idol. Yeah, the I Bible know. tells you it's an idol. That's right. God tells you not to um, worship idols. Yeah, I know that. You know that? So take it off, brother. Take it off. That's an idol. I'm going to show you the Bible right now. Here it is. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 18. Yeah. What profited the graven image that the maker thereof had graven it? The molten image. And a teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusted their, therein to make them idols. Woe well unto him that saith to the wood, Awake to the dumb stone, arise, and shall teach. Behold, it is a laid over with gold and silver. And uh, hold on. <laughs> silver. You see it? It's laid over with silver. <laughs> hey, the Bible is alive, dude. I hear you. I hear you. That's an idol, man. Throw, throw that on the roof, man. Greek. And there is no breath at all in the midst of it. Go to um, Exodus. Yeah, what's the one you guys you die for your children or something like that? Yeah, our people, man. People in this world, man, think that they're serving their a God, the true God, and all they're doing is serving Satan. That's right. So we'll go back to this, chapter 20 and verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. 
Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor service, nor serve them. For I am the Lord thy God, and the jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. That's right. Yeah. No, and this, this book is so true. Look, they even gave you the color of uh, what that is. Oh, Silver. Hey. <laughs> and he bows down to it because he said that this well, is what seven. saves me. That he saves me every day. Yeah. Right? He saves me. Every Give day. a credit to him, the idol. Yeah, he yes. said he saves me every day. <laughs> Matthew ten thirty seven. Matthew ten thirty seven. Really he good. said his daughter bought it for him. No, his father. His father. His father. My father said the same oh. thing. Yeah, I told him, Jesus yeah, face. you are the fuck. Like That's the Jesus head, he's like, oh, you know, Ashley bought that. I'm like, no, you need to get rid of that, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go over the charm. Yeah. Let's go over the charm, yeah. guys. So you know, Ashley bought it. I thought you did melt it down. I mean, if yeah. you don't want to get, you know, I was going to tell you, are your, your father did that. And, you know, add it to the treasury. That's what I mean. 37. 37, yeah. All right, look at Matthew chapter 10 and verse 37. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followed after me is not worthy of me. That's right. He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. That's, right. That's what we're doing. We're losing our life. For the Lord's sake. That's right. That's right. What's the precepts? 1 Corinthians 15.31. 1 Corinthians 15.31. Yeah, because we're out here trying to edify our people. Wake them up, man. Come on, Jacob. Wake up. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. Forsake your sins. All right. Turn back to the Lord. At least you repent, you're going to likewise perish. That's right. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 31. Bring it I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ, Hamashiach, Jehovahshai, our Lord. If, I die daily. If I die daily. That's right. We're out here ser serving the Lord. That's right. We don't live of the rudiments of this world. We're here to serve the Hao Ba That's right. That's what it means. That's what it means when it says to take up the cross daily. It means be willing to die for this. That's what it means. Mm. Not, not, yeah. not wear a cross yeah, yeah. and right. not worship a cross. Yeah. But take up your cross, then I mean that you're ready to die for this. Con, con. Maybe he's going to go look for that precept. Take the cross daily. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, Maybe that's what it is. Because we know in the ancient world that the cross is yeah. an instrument of death. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be willing to die for this word. You know what I'm saying? For the, for the Lord. You got to put the Lord before everything. That's right. That's right. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on your own understanding. Then they don't teach that at church. That's right. They don't teach that in church. They don't dare. They're trying to keep that money going. You know, they, mm -hmm. they, want, they don't want the money spigot to turn off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Church, they teach you how to go to ATM and just pick out 20s. They got an ATM in the churches they now. That's ATM what they do, the churches, yeah. <laughs> when you're pulling the money out of the ATM, make sure it's 20s. <laughs> we don't want singles. We want 20s. We <laughs> don't want to give dollar bills no more at the church. <laughs> God, God, man. Oh, praises, man. Yo, it's crazy, man. And they charge you a three dollar fee to use the ATM. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> and then you think about it, you go to these churches now, a lot of them have ATMs, dude. Yeah, right. Yo, I remember one time when I went to vacation in Chicago. My son took me to this church called Willow Creek. Dude, this thing was massive. This thing was blocks long. It had hospitals. Everything it had a, a, a gym room with trampolines and everything. And dude, I'm not kidding you. Like every 10 minutes, there's certain areas where there's flat screen TVs or cafes everywhere. And there will be men carrying these sticks with nets. They look like these um, hot lacrosse things. Yo, 
they walk around and you'd be amazed all the people that were giving out money to that's how much money they were making off this dude. And it's all tax, tax exempted there. Profiting yeah. for filthy lucre's sake, bro. That's all it is, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But all that's going to be taken care of when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai comes. Right. And that's we right. rule this world in righteousness. That's right. Let me get the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 12, verse 13 and 14. I'm going to let the next brother out here. Yeah, so just to touch base, we were out here week in and week out. We're not out here to start trouble. We're out here to edify our people, right. these so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right. to wake up, follow the Lord, keep the commandments, keep the faith in Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. Turn away from your sins. It's a working process. But you can do it. That's right. First John 5 and 3 tells you his commandments are not grievous. There's no excuse whatsoever for you not to have that you can push an effort to try to keep the commandments. No excuse whatsoever. Read. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of this whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. That's right. Whether it be good or whether it be evil, he's going to hold you accountable for it. That's right. So that kind of kills that doctrine real good. Uh, um, I'm already saved. Yeah. <laughs> that right there is telling you. He's going to hold you accountable for all the good things and bad things you've done.